Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lilian Gishuru and today I'll be giving you tips on how to start your own nail salon business wherever you are and please watch this video till the end so that you can learn more on how to start your own business in the nail industry. So without much ado, let's get straight on the tips on how you can start your own business using on a budget. The first things that you need to know is that you need to have a strategic place. Where am I going to put my business? You have to think of the clientele that you are looking at, whether your friends or family or even the community at large. So for beginners, you need to have that in mind. Secondly, you need a capital. Okay, depending on the, how much you have, it's not a must you start all the way with a big thing. You can start small. I'll give you a short story of how I started my own back in the years. I started doing nails in 2015 and now it is seven years plus and still counting. So when I started, I didn't start with a whole lot of collection like you can see. Behind me, I have a whole collection of gel polish that is around 150 pieces and I feel like 30 pieces normal polish. So when I started, I just started with a few pieces. I started with 10. And when I started with 10, that was just the, the much I could afford at that time because at that time, I didn't have much knowledge about nails or how I can go about it. Then, by that time, I didn't even know, I didn't, I didn't go to a school to learn nails. I'm self-taught. I learned my skills through YouTube and thanks again, YouTube, for everything that you do for people that are looking for tips and tricks on how to do, to go away, or to, to do their things it's it's really helpful and i know this video is going to help someone start their own nail business and i'm glad to share my skills and the little knowledge i have about nails so when i started uh i would watch tutorials on youtube on how to apply gel polish perfectly how you can ap apply gel polish like a pro and i started practicing with my friends and um, before i knew it practice practice makes perfect so i was able to perfect my skill and here I am right now and uh, if you are thinking of starting a, a, nail, a nail salon and you don't even know how to apply gel polish you don't even know how to apply the normal cutex don't don't shy away don't feel discouraged don't feel like you can't do it there are two ways you can go about it one you can teach yourself through YouTube or you can go to a school and secondly you can hire someone who knows the skills already and you hire them in your nail salon and you can know how to, they can be be the one doing the the gel the cutex on your clients so I'm going to give you a list of the things that you at least need when you're starting the, the business. So to start with, you need to have some equipment because without the equipment, you, can, you will not be able to execute the nail, the nail business properly. So the first item you need, you'll need an LED machine. This machine is the one that cures the gel. The process of drying the gel polish on your nails is called curing. So you'll need a machine to cure your gels. Secondly, you're going to need the gel polish. You can either go for all, all out depending on the capital you're looking at or you can even start small. So do not limit yourself. As I told you earlier on, I started small. I just started with just 10 pieces. So you can use any brand you want, but my preferred my preferred brand is oh the kiku in me but i'm saying the pref my prefer my preference when it comes to brands is blue sky because it's a superior quality then but you, there are so many other the blue sky the blue sky brand here in kenya is quite expensive because a, a piece goes for 1000 kenya shillings but there are other brands like roniki that range from 500 to 600 so you can start either way but when it comes to brands like roniki this consistency is a bit thicker so you'll need a lot of brush control but when it comes to blue sky the consistency is just okay so you can start either way both brands are okay but it depends on your preference and of course the preference of your customers because when it comes to gel polish application some clients will come they, are, they they do a lot of laundry they do a lot of touching water so the the manicure will not last as long comparing to someone a client who has 
a nanny or who has a house manager so they rarely get in touch with water so what you'll need to do you'll need to have backup there's something called overlay you can use overlay to apply on your client and this overlay will help the client's nails not to chip as fast if you don't have that you can go for the acryl gel you can use this uh, this also helps to make the manicure last longer um, you can also do you you can also use acrylic powder using the simplest method you can either apply as acrylics or you can use the deep method this right here so after that you're going to need to have a remover my remover I buy them in a bottle up there so I, 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 I put a little on this dispenser so you'll need remover you'll also need to have mas uh, massage oil especially when you're doing the pedicure after the pedicure you'll need to massage your client's feet you'll require the ma massage oil also you'll need a disinfectant you know miss rona told uh, taught us to be very careful and also to to go all out on this on antiseptics and disinfectants so I, I usually tell people as a nail tech your safety comes first because there are people will come with fungal infection on their toenails and also if you can't afford to wear gloves kindly use a disinfectant because you are your 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 what is it called your safety comes first after that you are going to require nail buffers and files you can use nail buffers and nail files also you'll need some edge cutters edge cutters and you'll also need some nail clippers then the, the edge cutters these big ones they are for cutting extensions nail extensions nail extensions for example are these artificial nails so you, they are they are in two categories they are stick-ons and they are tips so you'll use the edge cutter because when they come they are super long and you need to cut them to the desired size for your customer then you'll need some bases if you don't have money to buy the foot spa you can buy the normal kawaida basin so if you can manage to buy a foot spa I'd recommend this because it's it's good and it gets the job very well done but if you don't have it you can use the normal basin so long as it can fit your clients feet you'll also need a shower gel or a hand wash I prefer a, a shower gel because it's a bit economical it is it is a lot and it's going to serve so many customers so when you are thinking of what to use you can consider going for the shower gel because one number one it is long and two it is going uh, it is a lot and it's going to serve you for a long period and most importantly number two it is affordable after that when you have finished preparing everything and applying your customer the gel with the things i have shown you you'll also need to moisturize your client's hand so you can go for a hand cream you can either use a body cream or you can use a specific nail nail uh, hand cream that is specifically for hands and for your nails so if you don't have either of these you can also use a lotion or the massage oil after that you're going to need uh, um, cuticle oil cuticle oil is very important for moisturizing your cuticle area and the benefits of cuticle oil it helps nourish your cuticle area and also it helps strengthen your nails so uh, uh, cuticle oil is very important as well so i think i have covered most of the things oh i forgot this one you'll also need a cuticle gel remover what happens is when you want to after you are done preparing your client's nail you'll need a cuticle gel to soften your cuticle the cuticle area so that when you nip it it's not going to be as tough so consider also buying a cuticle gel removal um, now we are going to talk about pedicure I've shown you the the, the foot spa that we use for the for the pedicure you'll also need you'll also need some equipment you can use this or you can use this they both get the, the job well done but as for this because it's metallic I don't recommend it for 
for all the clients to use this because some clients have issues with their feet some bleed and this is metallic so this the chance of, the chances of transferring fungo from this from one client to another using this one is much higher because this one is metallic i would re I, I would recommend this if you are using it on multiple clients but if a client wants this you can have some of these or after every use on a client make sure you sterilize it and you you keep it safe for the for the for the next client to use and then after that you're going to need a spa salt I would also want to share a tip on people that want to start the nail business but they want to be mobile so when you are a mobile uh, nail tech you'll need a portable machine the machine that I would recommend is this one here because it's cordless you can see it is going to function even without being connected direct to the electricity so if you're considering to be a mobile a nail tech you can use this machine for it is small so you it is easy to move from one point to another and also you can have it serve, it serves many customers before it run runs out of charge so how wh how what you do with it you just charge it so that when you whenever you're going out with it it is fully charged and you're going to serve your clients well i also recommend that you nail prep when you're doing your customers nails make sure you nail prep them so you'll need an electric jug to heat up your water because when you you want to it's the little things that are going to attract customers into your business so go all in invest all things especially in the small small details make sure that you have nice towels to dry your clients hands because women are very picky and you don't know where this client is from most are looking for me maybe a better place or they want same experience with their previous nail techs so make sure when you're starting your business you are putting all those small things into consideration also when you are thinking about the business make sure that you are looking at a st strategic place to position your business because you'll need a people flow on your business you don't want to be there seated in somewhere in somewhere hidden that you don't even know where what you are there waiting for you don't even know someone is going to come or not so those are my tips on how to start your nail salon also don't let anyone limit you remember as i told you earlier on i started my business uh being self-taught i didn't go to any nail school so you can learn through youtube or you can go to a school and learn it. If you don't have the time and you still don't need a side hustle from apart from the one you have or the work you're doing currently, you can hire someone. You can hire a nail tech to come to your business and do the work for you. Then you pay them a small commission or a salary according to how you're both going to agree. You're also going to put into consideration the rent. As you're budgeting to start your nail business, kindly remember to consider rent because that will matter you need a place if you're not mobile you are going to need a strategic place where your clients will be coming to to to, to will be coming to come get their nails done also i would also want to encourage you out there let no one limit you let no one tell you that you you can't do it remember people like us in 2015 that time gel polish application was ranging from 2000 to some places it was even to 3000 so when I started, I had that fear. Will I be good enough? Will people be willing to pay me? Not even the 2000 the 500 I was requesting at that time. And yes, everything is possible. The discipline must be there. Consistency must be there. And also hard work. I also want to encourage you that in everything that you do, kindly commit your plans unto the Lord. Because when you commit your plans to God, he shall establish all of them. Let no, no one limit you chase your dreams i always tell people keep fighting for your dreams and one day your fight, your dreams are going to fight for you so don't feel discouraged don't feel fear face your fear today go start buying your equipment if you'd like me to do a video on where to get uh, nail equipment at a, on a budget at a fair price kindly leave me a comment down below or if you'd like me to do a, a detailed video on the pricing of every item on how you can on that can guide you as a guideline to start your nail business also leave me a link a comment in the comment comment section Koyo in and me will not allow to, me to prosper to to 
do it for you guys thank you so much for your support thank you for the 30 subscribers I don't take them for granted. I'm very happy and I pray that God shall bless you. And in whatever you do, remember to commit your work unto the Lord. It is not in vain to put God as a partner in your business or your plans that you are making because he knows your tomorrow. He knows what you need. So kindly remember to pray for your plans and to commit them unto the Lord. That is all I have for today. Thank you for watching this video until this point. Kindly like, give it a thumbs up. This will help my channel to reach many people also don't forget to subscribe and also leave me a comment down below so that we can interact more uh, thank you guys keep smiling and always remember to keep believing in god and keep believing in yourself i love you guys bye